Hello Wacom community. My name is Jayesh and today in this video we will learn about the Wacom Desktop Center. So, let's get started. First, we will open the Wacom Desktop Center and here it is. On the right hand side you can see under my devices heading the list of all the devices connected and some general information like the device serial number. So, here we have two devices connected at present. First is Wacom Express Key Remote and the another is Wacom Cintiq Pro 16. Under the Express Key Remote column, we can see Express Key Settings, Touch Ring Settings and On-Screen Control Settings. Below it, there are some tutorials and user help documentation. Similarly, for Wacom Cintiq Pro 16, we can see the first option under the Software tab to redeem the software that comes along with your Wacom device. After that, we have settings like touch settings to control touch and gesture operations, pen settings to customize Wacom pens and pen calibration to calibrate the pen. Then comes the on-screen control settings to create and change on-screen controls, display setting that customize the display color and other settings of the Wacom display. After that, we also have a setup wizard and some documentation to know your tablet better tutorials, user help and essential product information. Returning to the right hand side, below my devices list, we have a backup setting if you want to backup your Wacom driver. So now if I click backup on the local backup, it will ask you where you want the backup to save. So you can save it to your hard drive or on a local online server. For those who are educators, you probably have a local server online that all your instructors can assess. So this option will be good for them for setting up your basic driver settings and then saving it to your central server. Now suppose you want to take the drivers you have saved to your local drive or on your local server and want to install them on your existing computer. That's what the restore button is for. So after targeting the restore button, find the file and tell it where to go and get the driver. Go ahead and click on it and install it. I will not do it because I have my system set up exactly how I want. So now I will be targeting the cancel button. Now if you have problems with your Wacom tablet like the driver misbehaving or if you if your pressure sensitivity is not working the way it should or something else seems a little bit odd that's what reset setting is for target that it will reset everything back to the factory default and you are good to go below it we also have a cloud backup option in other words Wacom gives you a free cloud space to store your backup on the Wacom cloud and restore it from the cloud whenever and wherever needed so if you are working on somebody else computer anywhere in the world that has a Wacom tablet attached to it, you can go to your settings and bring them in and work the way that you have always been working on your system. Below it we have the cloud backup options which are self explanatory. Likewise the local backup where the local backup allows you to restore and backup from a local drive or on or an external drive. Cloud Backup is simply allowing you to backup and restore from a cloud drive of the Wacom cloud service. Just click on backup, give a name to your backup and hit the backup button. Wait for some time and it will backup on the cloud. Similarly, restoring from the cloud asks you to select the backup, backup you want to restore and, the, and click the restore button. Using the manage button, we can also organize the stored backup on the Wacom cloud by renaming or deleting them from the cloud. By the way, I will click on close for now. After that, we have an update option to check for the latest drivers for our Wacom devices. Alright, now say for example, uh, there could be updates that uh, you are not aware of it. We often go back to the Wacom.com website to look for the updates. but uh, now we go to this Wacom desktop center and target updates. Now it tells me that my driver is up to date and that my devices also has the latest available version. Finally below it 
we can see the support option if we need to do some troubleshooting with the device. Here we can target driver check. It will open a new driver check window and we can start a driver check here. Before we click on the start button, please ensure your Wacom product is connected to your computer as it's written over here and then click on the start. Now here you can see it's saying driver check complete and no errors have been identified. If you think you still have errors, you can click on restart driver, reset settings or even connect to Wacom support. Ok next we have a diagnostic data button targeting that opens a new window showing the driver info, device info, pen info and touch information. After that. We have a driver logging button targeting on that opens a driver logging window to log driver files if Wacom needs to identify issues you are having with your driver or the operating system itself. Well, I will not target this as of now as I don't have any problems with my driver. Now coming to the last option on the right hand side panel, we have Wacom support. Clicking on that opens the Wacom support website on your browser. Similarly clicking on the store option on the right hand side panel opens the Wacom store website in your browser. Now back to my devices list under express key remote. If we target express key settings it will open the system preferences window and redirect it to Wacom tablet settings showing the express key remote. Here we can see a bunch of new settings which I think deserve a completely new video as we have a lot of customizable settings in it. Alright, that's it for today in this Wacom Desktop Center Tour video 2022. That's going to be very handy. Catch you in the following video. Till then, bye bye, take care and be happy.